Xbox is heading into the future with a totally new game plan for next generation. They are promising the most large technical leap ever in console gaming. Xbox is approaching next generation with two surprises that will make games come alive in ways that were never before possible. This is Cold Eastwood. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the new Xbox Series console, a handheld and new power that you've never seen before in consoles. If you end up enjoying this video, let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified of new content and let's talk about Xbox in 2026 and surprises for 2024. Xbox's latest update, Sarah Bond casually mentioned that they are developing new hardware that they will be revealing this holiday. And we got more to come. There's some exciting stuff coming out in hardware that we're going to share this holiday. And we're also invested in the next generation roadmap. And what we're really focused on there is delivering the largest technical leap you will have ever seen in a hardware generation, which makes it better for players and better for creators and the visions that they're building. Before we get into their plans, let's take a look at where Xbox's hardware is sitting as of the leaks from late 2023. The Xbox Series S and X consoles are set to be revised to digital consoles with a bit more storage. The rumored digital Series X console was shelved. Sarah is saying that they have hardware to announce this holiday 2024, which means this revised Code Brooklyn digital Series X could still be coming. This console is a cylinder shape with no disk drive but with better thermals, an upgraded faster Wi-Fi 6E, more energy efficient with a new low power standby mode, USB-C charging on front and two terabyte internal storage, while still maintaining the same $500 starting price. Keep in mind that if this console exists, it has two major drawbacks. It's really made to lower the cost margin of the existing Series X and to push customers to an all digital market. It's also very possible that Xbox has decided to skip this model due to cost barriers in the current console market. But Sarah Bond says they have hardware to reveal this holiday. Xbox may be starting next generation much earlier than we thought. Analysts are saying that 2026 is the year for the supposed Xbox Series X2, a next generation console, the biggest technological leap ever. This is certainly, or sounds like a hyperbole, at least the oft-coined phrase, looking into the future when consoles are typically two times more powerful than the one before. Xbox has a two-prong approach for the hardware, and that includes a super powerful, advanced, traditional TV set-top console, the Series X2, and finally, an official Xbox handheld that is reportedly being co-developed by the Surface team. Both the Xbox handheld and the Series X2 will benefit from newly reported Microsoft AI-powered resolution, upscaling, and frame rate interpolation. We'll get to that in just a moment. The Xbox Series X2 in 2026. This is a processor within the system on chip according to the AMD roadmap, which would be a 2024 era Zen 5 TSMC's 4 nanometer or 3 nanometer process. It is based off of the Ryzen 8000 codenamed Granite Ridge, making it a massive upgrade from the current 52 compute unit, 3.8 gigahertz, eight core or 16 thread CPU to 4.2 gigahertz, 16 cores and 32 threads, a next generation processor, which is overtly technical, but understand that most games do not push the current eight cores by design, let alone using simultaneous multi-thread 32 cores. The graphics RAM on the Xbox Series X2 would be up to current GDDR6 from 16 gigabytes to 20 gigabytes. Clock speeds would be set to improve drastically over the current Xbox as the new GDDR6 latency and power draw allows Xbox hardware teams to boost frequency inside the console while keeping temperatures stabilized, leading to better and more consistent performance in games. The graphics chip is what gaming fans are most interested in and AMD's jump from the Xbox Series X Navi 2 upgraded to full RDNA 5, which would still see full compatibility with the current Xbox Series S and X games and architecture. At this point, in 2026, the console will launch with Navi 5. This is a very modern GPU for a console price set at around $500 to $600, with machine learning silicon combining AI software and hardware processes for better resolution and frame rates. 
Now, I know when we talk about AI, people really repel the idea of artificial intelligence being implemented into gaming, but this is specific for software and silicon-based hardware processing to get games to run better. As for the hardware and capabilities, the new gen Xbox may not just specifically prioritize raw power and instead be the first video game console built with this key AI integration in mind. Microsoft has invested tremendous amounts of money into AI and its co-pilot tech, and this will help revolutionize this productivity. This is the future where other manufacturers and PCs will be using these AI chips in high demand. It is possible Microsoft's next-gen Xbox could feature dedicated onboard AI accelerators, potentially using the NPU or Neural Processing Unit co-processors that work alongside the highly customized chipset. Microsoft's trial leaks suggest that they could be utilizing an ARM64 CPU architecture instead of the X64 CPU. The reason for this choice may be made with AI in mind. Another big reason why Microsoft would select this kind of chip is because of cloud compute, ARM is better suited for this kind of integration. Microsoft could leverage AI and cloud tech to streamline various processes, most importantly, the frame rate and interpolation that modern TVs already do right now, but introduce too much latency for the controller. AI-powered frame rate prediction would allow lower spec hardware like the new Xbox Series handheld to run games at 60 FPS. The Xbox handheld would replace the Xbox Series S console because it is reportedly designed to be dockable to play on monitors and TVs fully compatible with the new and current controllers. It's also possible that the Xbox Series X2 console will not be shown at Holiday 2024, but instead this moment will be used to tease the upcoming Xbox handheld. The Xbox Series X All Digital Refresh could also be shown here and a whole new replacement controller with haptics. A new console, a redesigned console, is super important even if it appears to be a next generation console that could come out this year or next year because Xbox loves selling controllers. In fact, it's one of their highest sold marketed items in their accessories tab. And since these controllers can be used on almost any device where you play games, this is a big reason to come out with a new haptics base, fully advanced controller before next generation starts. Some of those new options are a feature called Lift to Wake, which uses an accelerometer inside of the controller much like we have in our smartphones. Picking up this controller will automatically power it on. It can also be set to turn on your Xbox console or device. This new controller has a quieter set of buttons and an included rechargeable battery pack. But the most exciting part of this new controller is the VCA haptics. This is a voice coil actuator. Haptics that also double as speakers, which will add a heightened level of immersion in the front and middle part of the controller, while the handles will still continue to provide heavy rumble and feedback. The triggers will continue to have force feedback vibration, giving you three points of immersion feedback and haptics with this new controller. With Xbox doubling down on console hardware reportedly getting into the handheld game finally and assuring fans that most of their big games will remain unique to the platform and the Xbox brand, it sheds a whole new light on the future of Xbox games, the places we will play and the future strong power that will keep the games immersive, impressive, and most of all, consistently released for us to play. This is Cole Eastwood. Thank you so much for checking out this video. This will actually be the third iteration of hardware videos that I've put out in the past few months as things change and as new information comes. And I'm really excited about what they're going to do. I was not expecting Xbox to double down about actually having some hardware to reveal in 2024. I know we get really excited about AI or actually sometimes we get pretty upset about AI. And I hope what they end up delivering is really set there for resolution and frame rate because right now the consoles really just do 1080p or 1440p at 60. These consoles will be $600. They have to go up at this point and that's kind of a bummer, but I got to know, will you be getting a new console if they release something in 2026? 
Are you even interested in the digital Series X? Do you just want something shiny and new at home? Let me know that as well. If you ended up enjoying this video, let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified of new content. If you want to further support the channel, you can do that by joining the channel members. We've got hundreds of channel members who are there who get early access to these videos before they go up. And you can also join the Patreon. We have different tiers there to get into the XTC Podcast Club giveaways for merch like this and all kinds of different things. Check that out. Those links are in the description. Thanks for checking out the XTC podcast. We're running that every week and that's been a good time to talk about gaming and all this information in long form. And I appreciate everybody's stuck by as things kind of go up and down and all of the different things as uh, Xbox is just trying to figure out where they're going next. Let me know in the comment section about what you think is coming for 2024 and what to expect in 2026. And while you're there, as I always say, be nice.